And from our perspective, we see it, or I see it, there's two divisions in mind. And we call it the conscious mind and the superconscious mind. Or some of you may know it as the subconscious mind. And what we find out is what's called critical faculties, what, we, what I call it, that separates those two. And I mean it's what we call the thinking mind and the feeling mind. And it's the feeling mind that I really want to get to talk about. It's the feeling mind where I believe our true potential lies. Because we don't use it. And as we get access and we can start to communicate with our feeling mind, then we can really start to accelerate, we can really start to, to motivate ourselves in terms of what we do. And we take a step back and we just look at the child's mind, for example. And um, you look at a child's mind, and they haven't yet created that critical faculty. And you create that critical faculty by creating your belief systems. They haven't yet created that. So you can give a child a thought, an idea, or opinion, and they'll accept it without question. And we know plenty of examples of that. So you can take a child, for example, and you can just tell a child that you can't sing. Or better still, we all the examples of children in the choir that go, just move their lips, please, you know? Um, and we know when we tell children that, that they will accept it immediately, and we know what impact that can have on them. And equally, we you know that we can tell a child, for example, that you're a great footballer. And he will accept it, he will believe he's a great footballer. But most importantly, he will think, feel, and act in a way that's conducive with that belief. And by thinking in that way, he will reach his potential as a footballer. And we can only give plenty of examples of footballer. When we look at Roy Keane, and Roy Keane, by his own admission, he wasn't the best player, he wasn't the most talented player, and not even the easy player. But it was his determination, it was his belief system that made a difference. And he became one of the most iconic and one of the most recognized footballers in the world because of that belief and because of the belief he had himself. So if we understand this a little bit further, and I have my little thick man here with my green face on it as well, let's talk about our thoughts define our feelings. And this is the critical thing, this is the critical element. Because of that connection between the thinking mind and the feeling mind that we want to talk about. Because that's the critical step. And of course, our feelings determine our actions. And as we know, our actions go with our results. And this is a feedback loop. Because it's our results that reinforce our thinking. But what we all tend to do is focus on our results. And quite often our results aren't what we want. Maybe they're not what we want to achieve. They aren't where we want to be. But we continue to focus on the poor results. And it's the poor results that we get our focus. And Philip illustrated so beautifully tonight with that bead example. You get what you focus on. And the most important thing that we want to talk about or we want to think people is if you want to change anything, you want to change the rules, you start, first start up here. Start with your thoughts. Because it is as simple as positive thoughts, positive results. So how do you do that? It's easier said than done, I suppose. You know, just change your thoughts. How do you do that? But I want to give you an example now of how we do it, or one of the uh, very useful tools that we use in terms of uh, communicating with people on how they can actually change the results or change their thinking, most importantly. And I call it a power of the I hope you all have this card. If you don't, make it up your hand. I'm sure you do. Um, we all have this as a card. This is an example of a card that we do in our seminar programs, one of our programs. Oh, we can actually talk about it. And the front it says, My Future. And if you flip it over on the back, you see it has five or six different lines. And this is what we call a goal card, or a future envisioning card. Right? And what we do with students is we bring them through a kind of reflective process. And we get them to think about well, where do they want to be in five years' time or ten years' time? Where do they want to be? What do they want to achieve? And we all have the power of goals. But more importantly about having goals is to write them down. Because by writing them down, we actually communicate continuously with our mind, continuously with our, our conscious mind so we can drive our focus. So that when we do get into those difficult situations, when things aren't showing up the way we like it, we can focus on what we actually want. And it's cards like this that can make a difference. And we get, we, get them, we, get them, we get them to write their goals and carry those cards with them. And it might sound like a simple tool, but it was a card like this that actually changed, changed my life. So what I want you to do now is I want to invite you to kind of experience a little bit of what we experience within the, 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 the program. And I want you to think, maybe think of some of your students. Maybe think of something that they want to achieve. And for the example, we put down on the left-hand side the date at which you want to achieve it, and on the right-hand side we put down what it is we want to achieve. And it's either I am or I have. So I want you to maybe put yourself in the mind of a student and what they want to achieve and go and go there and put it down and write it down. Or maybe better still, do it for yourself. Because maybe there's something you want to achieve. Maybe there's something you've been procrastinating about for a while. Maybe there's something within your, uh, um, a reason that you got into this that you haven't been connected today. And you can use that, because I use cards like this quite often myself. So I want you to just take a moment now and actually write something down. <laughs> Born in 